right, YouTube, another morning here out in the Outback. Uh, today we're gonna be on the dozers again. Um, we got a little rain last night, but uh, it's it didn't rain very much, so it's not too wet to work. So we're gonna go ahead and work. And uh, yeah. Um, also, if you're watching, hit that subscribe button because 80 something percent of my viewers are not subscribed so go ahead and, and subscribe and uh, push the little bell button and that will turn on notifications so you get notified whenever I post and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy the video all right so we just got all the oils checked greased them which we had to top their oils off a little but uh now Pratt's gonna get his started up I'll get mine started up move the ute and uh, yeah be good to go So his is all started up and now we'll get to mine. starting to rain you can see it dripping off there but uh we're about to head back to the ute for some lunch anyways and uh i don't know how much more we'll keep going because i'm getting lower on fuel which not super low can still probably go for two more hours but i'm probably gonna have enough for the rest of this afternoon and now it's actually starting to come down pretty good but uh yeah, we'll just see how we go. I think the fuel truck was maybe going to come today, but I guess we'll see. We'll uh, stop here real quick. And, uh, yeah, it looks like it's starting to rain pretty good. Anyways, we'll see how the rest of the day goes, but, uh, yeah. Alright, so we just pulled up for lunch, got the dozers over there, come over here to where it's a little quieter and to where our lunch was, but we brought some ramen for today, so we're gonna cook this up. I'm going to have some beef flavored ones, and, uh, Pratt's gonna have this kind. This kind is like kind of fancy. It's got all this seasoning and stuff in it. Like it's got soy sauce packets and all sorts of crazy stuff. But uh, as we wandered over here, we realized we may or may not have uh, forgot to bring forks. So it might be a little interesting eating this, but in here we got our hot water. Open it up. Pour it in here. Still piping hot. So, we'll get these filled up. And uh, now we'll cover them up with the lids and let them. Uh... Alright, so our ramen's done cooking, and uh, this is our fork, you know, really nice and high quality. But, uh, got to do what you got to do I think uh, someone should offer us engineering degrees or something I mean look at that high quality got a nice bend in it like just like a fork you know but uh, we're gonna go ahead and eat lunch and uh, then head back on the dozers all right so we just got done having lunch uh, now we're gonna keep going just started sprinkling again but uh, we'll get turned around here got Pratt right there and uh, yeah, keep doing a little bit more. I don't have much fuel left, as I said, maybe an hour or two. But uh, yeah, we'll update you uh, with whatever we end up doing next. All right, so my dozer is nearly out of fuel. So uh, now we're just letting it cool off. And uh, 
yeah, then we'll head back to the house and we're gonna be doing some sheep work over at Travis's tomorrow. So we're gonna take the fuel pod out of the back and uh, load the four wheeler and dirt bike up. And uh, yeah, then, I don't know, we'll see what we're gonna do after that because it's only 2.20, so we should be able to have that done by, uh, by then. We might uh, give them a little rinse or something before we load them up, but uh, yeah, we'll just see. So we just got the four-wheeler and dirt bike washed up so they're sitting there we'll load them here in a minute we're back on the forklift got the hook on it and uh we're gonna unload this fuel tank that ian got for his helicopter that way they don't have to uh keep pumping it out of the drums they'll have that nice big gravity fed one so we're gonna get that unloaded and uh put it together all right we got the tank set up there and the bolts aligned now we just got to put the nuts on and uh we did it without dropping the tank and putting a big old ding in it, so I'd say that went good. So uh, Pratt's gonna monkey his way up there to get the chain off, and uh, yeah, then we just gotta unload that wool table, and we'll be good. We'll load the bikes up. This is 100% OSHA approved, just letting y'all know.
Let me know if I need to come down more. Good. Yeah, let me sit back. Will you clip the thing up so it doesn't drag the tank? Good? Yeah, hold on. Let me sit back. Okay. We'll take crap for a little ride. Alright, so before we're done for the day, we're just going to go ahead and spray off our windshield because it's pretty nasty and uh, kind of hard to see out of. And then, yeah, we'll be done. So we got the bikes loaded up and uh, got the bolts on the fuel tank tightened and everything's all good.